everyone! Today I'm going to be showing you my Nezuko Kamado cosplay for Demon Slayer or Kimetsu no Yaiba. In this video, I'll be showing you Nezuko's makeup, as well as my review on the cosplay pieces I ordered and a tutorial on the Demon Slayer box. Here are the different time slots if you want to skip around in the video, but I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start with my Sephora HYA. It's like a moisturizer and primer. I use it every day. Then I'm gonna use my Bare Minerals foundation all over my face. Next, I use a black eyeliner pencil to color in my eyebrows. Then I use this shiny color from my Too Faced Smoky wow. Eye Palette in the corner of my eyes. After that, I use the top left and right colors from this Mad From Mauve Palette. For my eyelids, I use the top left color in this Make Magic Happen Tarte Palette. This is like my favorite palette ever. Then I do a thin line and a small wing with this e.l.f. liquid eyeliner. I always use fake eyelashes when I cosplay. It just kind of makes your eyelashes look fuller and it's a lot of fun to apply them. I just got these from Walmart. After that, I go over them with Tarte's Big Ego Mascara. Next, I use this Prep and Prime Essential Oil Stick by MAC and this Wet n Wild Highlight that I dropped all over the floor as I was recording this. The Essential Oil Stick just makes the highlight stay better. Now it's time for fangs. For my contacts, I ordered this brand called Sweetie from Uniqueso.com and they turned out really, really great. I'm going to order from them again. And my Nezuko look is complete. So this is everything that you get with the cosplay. It comes with the kimono in the row. The kimono is tied once on the inside like a bathrobe and then once on the outside and the material is really really good quality it's not too hot and it's not like really light where it'll rip this white part on the inside lets you adjust it around your neck if it's more wide or narrow and they already have this bottom part hemmed so it looks really really good around your knees the robe is really good quality as well just very basic. Then we have the leg warmers. I think it's really cool because they make them wider at the top and then smaller as you go down for your feet. So it fits really well. Really like how they're puffy with all these creases. Then of course the mouthpiece. It's almost like foam, I think, with fabric wrapped around it. Um, I don't think this is gonna break at all. They just have ribbon tied in it and it, it works really well. I can also talk when I'm wearing this. I guess just cause it, it'll sit on the top of your lip and it didn't rub my makeup off either. So that's pretty cool. Then we have this middle part that wraps around the kimono. It's called the OB. All of this is one piece. Like these are all attached together. They even have the cute little three rivets that she has. And um, it has Velcro on it. So you can adjust it to how small or big you are. It also comes with seven of these, six for the legs, and then one, I guess, in case if you lose it, to just tie around here. I just knotted them. Also comes with her little hair clippy. This gold piece that was already knotted like this when it came to wrap around the OB. And this white piece of material. I don't really know why it's included, maybe if something malfunctions with the kimono. I'm not really sure. There was no explanation on anything. I just kind of figured it all out. But this cosplay had a lot more than I was expecting. Um, I thought I was gonna have to make her hair tie 
or the ribbons around the ankles, but it came with everything. And this bamboo piece isn't that bad at all. Like I'm gonna use it when I cosplay instead of making a different one. It's not like 3D or anything, but I think it's really good. Honestly, from that short time that I tried it on today, I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 because I didn't see any issues at all. It even has in the kimono little cuts at the bottom for like air. So it's kind of like your armpit is free, but it doesn't show at all because the sleeves are so baggy. But I thought that was really nice too. Really, really well made. You can't see the seams super well. Um, I don't know. I really, really like it. I bought this cosplay off of meetcostumes.com for $51. Highly recommend it. These are my Nezuko shoes. They're Japanese rice sandals. So they're not curved. They're just straight. Keep that in mind whenever you're cosplaying. If you want to use these specific shoes, just because they're a little hard to learn how to walk in, it doesn't curve with your foot, but um, it's not too bad. It's really thick wood, well put together, and these parts are really comfy. The color's really nice as well, and it comes with these toe socks. I bought these shoes off of cosplayinspire.com. Highly recommend these as well. <laughs> okay, I got this wig off of Amazon for $20. This wig is insane. It is absolutely beautiful. It's already styled. Perfect length, perfect color. It's just all around amazing. The wig doesn't come with the hair clip, but my cosplay came with that, so I really didn't have to worry about it. Now here's the tutorial on how to make the box. So my box isn't even a box. It's cut out display boards that I attached together. <laughs> um, I taped them and supported them, so it worked out really well. I did this because a regular cardboard box wasn't big enough for me to fit in. This is what it looked like once I put both sides together. After that, I put a top on and I glued it to seal it with hot glue. As you can see, there's a little space that isn't filled. I'll get to that later. And then Layla noticed that I put a blanket in the box so I could lay on it while I was gluing it and she thought it was her new house. I fixed that one piece on the edge. All I needed was another piece of cardboard and now it's kind of looking like a box. Then I cut out the piece for the door and fortified this part here at the bottom just because it was really, really thin. Okay, so here's where I messed up pretty bad. This color is what I was thinking for the box in between that one and the one on the right, but these are all the paints that I had. So I mixed them together and got this color and I thought it looked pretty well. That's just me spray painting, don't mind that. But I covered the whole entire box in this color and it was bad. So I lightly went over it with a burnt sienna. For paint, you're just gonna have to figure that out on your own, sorry. But here's what the box looked like whenever I covered it in Mod Podge and set it up to paint it. I also put the bottom piece on and forgot to record it. But hey, look, here's the box. This is the color I ended up getting. I measured out equal lines so I could draw the pieces of wood. I also did wood detailing by the paint that I first covered the box with, that darker color. Oh yeah, this episode was playing when I was making this. Here is the cutout for the detail on the door. I just drew it up myself and then I traced it for the other pieces. I then added the long side pieces of wood. I uh, spaced them out evenly all around the box and then I hot glued them as well as the edges. This is what the front of the box and the door looks like once I added all the details to it. In order to have the door open and close, I cut holes in the door and the side of the box and then used black zip ties. I think I used four all the way down and it worked pretty well. I cut out and painted these little guys and then went ahead and painted the top and bottom rim of the box and then added the white detail by using the shape of the end of the stain remover and this is what it all looks like together. 
There's also this edge detail that I went ahead and painted because if I didn't, it would have bothered me. Then I cut out a thing for the handle, and oh yeah, I detailed the whole box with gray paint for like light shadows. But I attached the handle using some string through the screw holes and then tied it on the back. I also hot glued it for extra strength, and that's how I made my Demon Slayer box. Well, that was my cosplay for Nezuko. I um, hope you guys liked it. Uh, if you want, you should check out my other videos. Um, if you want. <laughs> I am planning to move to Japan in three years to become an English teacher. And uh, I'll just be posting videos associated with that. But um, check them out if you feel like it. I'm going to bed because it's 2 in the morning and I have school tomorrow. So, thanks for watching.